We're right in the middle of Edinburgh just now and as you can see there are a lot of cars on the road creating a lot of pollution and emissions and this really affects the public realm here in Edinburgh. Now, wouldn't it be nicer if there were fewer of these cars on the road? Well, one of the ways we can do that is by encouraging people to use public transport more often. For example, swapping 30 of these cars with 30 seats on just one bus. Well, Transform Scotland would like to encourage people to use public transport more often by making public transport a lot easier to use. And what we're going to do today is we're going to speak to some people about the way they pay for their public transport and to see if there's a way we can improve upon that. The buses in Edinburgh need you to have the exact fare and that's a hassle. Sometimes you miss your bus because you're away trying to get changed. It's £1.30 for the bus now. So if you don't have the right change, you end up putting £1.50 in. And the bus fare always seems to go up and up and up, and I've always got notes. There were no shops nearby for me to break a tenner, so I had to spend a tenner. And that happens to me quite a lot. So you end up paying more than what you're supposed to be paying, and that really annoys me. I'll sometimes go on holiday maybe to, say, the Western Isles or somewhere like that. That's, that's really difficult because to work out how much the buses are, I mean, you just have to ask them how you've got the right change. Yeah, it's very frustrating. <laughs> it's really annoying. Like, if I have the right change, I'll pay with the change, and if I don't, then I use the city singles. It never occurs to me to go and buy the city singles, and I'm just busy. It's really annoying having to go all the way to a Lothian bus shop, which is not anywhere near where I live, to get the city singles. What Transform Scotland is proposing is a solution to this problem. Something similar to the Oyster Card in London, a smart card that would allow travel on buses, trains or ferries right across the country. It could be topped up just like a mobile phone at shops, online or at stations. Pressing the card against a reader would allow the correct fare to be deducted, pressing the card against a reader on buses or at train stations. I'm Callum McCallum, I'm a board member of Transform Scotland and I am participating in the campaign to get a Scotland-wide smart card ticket for public transport. Um, I think that one of the things that we sort of foresee is that people would be able to travel across Scotland much more easily, much more conveniently without having to handle cash, particularly for things like bus fares. Um, where they might have to have exact change and so on. I would really like an Oyster Card type uh, scheme to be in Edinburgh. I, I really, really think it would make an awful lot of difference. Just make things a lot easier logistically. I think it would probably make the buses run on time as well. Yeah. People just hop on. Yeah, it's much better. Um, it would be really, really straightforward for me. Um, I'd just keep it in my bag. Um, I just wouldn't have to worry about things. If it was all just one card and you could just swipe it and swipe it, that would be a lot easier. Would it be, would it be able to use it on the bus and the sure. underground and everything? Yeah, yeah that would be amazing. amazing. Yeah. And from summer I'll be working in Glasgow, so I'll be doing a lot of train journeys between Edinburgh and Glasgow and using the Glasgow subway train as well at the other end. I use transport, public transport a lot, but I don't use it enough to have um, one of the monthly passes. The great news is that these readers have already been installed on all buses across Scotland and are being trialled on the rail route between Edinburgh and Glasgow, so the infrastructure is already there. But what we want to see is a card that we can use anywhere across Scotland, attracting more people to public transport and making public transport better value for money.